Um, here we are, right to battle. And I'm going to give you the setup of the board. This is uh, my Crimson Fists versus uh, old un Underground Heretic's Tower over there. So he's got a vicious little setup on me. Uh, playing 1850 points, uh, spearhead deployment, and uh, capture and control. Uh, Pete's point is uh, the Imperial supplies over there. And my point is the communication tower over here. So uh, we'll get this posted when we get this up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start turn one. Uh, see what happens. So far I've got first turn, but we'll find out what happens with the CZ initiative. All right, guys, uh, coming to you here, I guess, at the bottom of one. Sorry, we forgot to get one in the middle. Um, Lucky Tau seized on me yet again. I think that's three games in a row with him I've played. So they seized on me and hit this baby a little bit, but uh, not enough to do much to him. He just couldn't move, couldn't shoot. Nobody really did much of anything this game. Some Pathfinders over there got plunked down with some shots, but stand tall and didn't run off the board, and that thing got shaken, so... Anything, uh, anything you want to say, Airtech? I was honestly planning not to seize. That was a lucky roll on my part. I was planning to throw these hammerheads and most of the army up this way and see who you chase. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I can't chase anybody. I'm stuck, so. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to you guys at the uh, bottom of two. Alrighty guys, coming back to you here now at the uh, bottom of two it looks like. Started off over on the Tau's turn and uh, what happened to that orbital relay or whatever? That actually failed on two plus, but it's going to help me in the long run I think. Hmm, pushing back his reserves rules, so we'll see what happens. Uh, not too terribly much happened, uh, I guess over the course of the whole turn. The only real thing that happened is a uh, land raider over there is immobilized. This one over here is under a shroud of smoke for the oncoming shooting. And Terminators I jumped out. Pedro jumped in to give him a boost in uh, speed. And uh, they're heading over that way. But uh, if you notice, there were some pathfinders over there that's a rather vacant spot. Uh, assault cannon got a shot on him and uh, killed four of them of the five. And the last one failed his leadership and is uh, on his way back to the Empire to restock and come back, I suppose. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much the turn. Anything uh, happen for you? Nope. All right. I wasn't sure what to do, but I think I've got this. Still. All right, so we'll get back to you guys at the uh, bottom of three, so Yahoo. All right, guys, coming to you here live from the bottom of three. Um, things are starting to get uh, get around to happening. Uh, first thing that happened this turn was the orbital relay was unfortunate in missing um, again. So that means two turns that the tower have been behind. Um, looking at it, uh, these guys really haven't done much. Land Raider still there, but immobilized. Pedro and the assault terminators are on the move across the board. Um, Looking at it over here from the Tau perspective, I'm going to shift over here and give you guys a Pete's view. Uh, he's got uh, two hammerheads back here still, and they're um, kind of staring down the face of a land raider right in front of him. There is a squad of ten stern guard and a Lysander counts ad model in there, so it should be interesting to see what happens. What do you think? The talented Chazo must adapt to difficulties, which is something I'm really going to have to do. Yeah, something I'm really looking forward to putting to the test, too. Uh, over there, that's Ishmael. So, now you've uh, seen all three of us, I guess, except me, who I will remain anonymous. Whenever I can learn to say anonymous. So, we'll get back to you guys uh, once uh, one stuff has gone down. So, we'll get back to you at bottom four.